Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel, The Unplanned Life. Finally, this day has come. You all know how excited I am to be moving into my new notebook because I am using a very beautiful cover from Hobonichi called the Primavera, which I have already prepared and set up about a month ago, I think. Video will be linked below. And finally, my current notebook in the alphabet maze cover also from Hobonichi is finally filled out. There are no more blank pages remaining as you can see. These pages in the back is where I paste my sticky notes that I bring with me in my pocket when I am out doing errands so I won't have to pull out my notebook. And this page on the left of it that is my final journal entry in this notebook dated november 23 which is today just this evening actually about an hour before i decided to film this video and like i said there are no more blank pages to write in on this notebook so i have to move to the new notebook but at the same time there are some pages on here that contain information that i still consider current and they are marked by the ribbon page markers at the bottom that you can see Spe specifically there are four pages marked by the four ribbon page markers and there is one page that isn't marked by a page marker but i'll show that to you later this page marked by the red ribbon contains the list of 10 remaining notebook orders from my friend viti this blue ribbon marks the page where i still have two notebooks to give to two different friends and this cream colored ribbon contains another notebook list in which i have to make two notebooks for one customer and it's a recent order and finally the brown ribbon marks the current um, list of notebook orders which is a continuation of the list marked by the cream colored ribbon now i don't want to migrate these specific lists to the new notebook because that would be redundant and that would also confuse me but i won't be needing these lists for long my next scheduled day to mail out notebooks will be on november 30 and that will already close the lists on the pages marked by the cream colored ribbon and the blue ribbon the next mailing will be on on December 7 and this will hopefully close the list marked by the red ribbon and shortly after that I hope to be able to close the list marked by the brown ribbon and here is the other page that is still current for now it is a log of the media I consumed it's a weird phrase I know the media that I consumed for the month of November because it's only November 20 I have until November 30 to write information on this I get to watch and listen to a lot of media because that's what I do while making notebooks to save time I listen to audiobooks and podcasts and maybe a movie or two so I can learn something new while making notebooks so this overlap of use of the two notebooks it's not going to take long this current notebook won't even leave the house anymore now this new notebook with the primavera cover is already prepared the additional ribbon page markers are all ready to be used and i have already partially filled this out and i have already put tabs on these as you can see and the video will be linked below but i have noticed that this one tab labeled absurd one is all crumpled and it is bothering me and i know why it is being crumpled it's because it is placed in that awkward position that hits this plastic cover on cover right here where it curves and it happened also on some of the plastic tabs on my previous notebook, but I wasn't bothered then. However, I don't think there is a point to having pristine white tabs if they are just going to end up being crumpled. So what I did was I snipped, I snipped that tab off. Sorry, I thought I was in the frame, but I wasn't. But I just used a pair of scissors to snip off that tab labeled absurd one because it was crumpled. And I made a new one, which I pasted on the place of the old one. And that solved the problem temporarily. Of course, that could still crumple. So what I did was I added a narrow strip of cardboard 
to the fore edge of the end page right here. I just pasted it onto the fore edge, covering about an inch of the edge of the end paper, and the cardboard extends beyond the edge of the notebook to cover all of the tabs as you can see. And then I just covered the joint with some washi tape and then put another strip of a different washi tape, the narrower black one beside it. And then it was just a matter of transferring all the other items in the Alphabet Maze notebook cover to the Primavera cover. The Pilot Opt Shaker pencil and the Uni Eraser pen go in first. And I have a video of these two items in my YouTube channel. The link will be below. And I also have a protractor that I, I have always had on me for years and all the other stuff in the same places they were in on the previous cover. Now this small pink sticky note stack had no backing so I quickly made a little backing sheet for it and here are some small loose papers that I use whenever I need to write down information for someone and it's also the the paper that I use when I am still half asleep but I need to quickly write down the details of a dream that I don't want to forget and after writing down the details of that dream I just when I am already awake I just paste the paper down onto the pages of the journal section of this notebook and here is a small pack of Ziploc bags that I use for memory keeping in my journal uh, on, on the journal section of my notebook and this Ziploc bag has something that I need to deal with very soon. From the back of the old notebook, all I have is this clear folder that contains random pieces of paper and I also found more small pieces of paper on there which I placed in with the others on the front pocket. I decided to transfer the ruler to the back pocket here and there's also a Ziploc bag here that I sometimes use and then I returned the pack of pre-cut tabs into the back pocket of the cover. Now I cannot write an end date to the cover of this notebook right here because I am not sure exactly when I will really finally finish creating the notebook orders because orders continue to come in. I have 10 slots remaining in that final list, serial numbers 191 to 200, so I'm leaving the end date unwritten for now. I also noticed that some sticky goo had accumulated on this part because this is always where I place those sticky notes that I prepare before I go out on errands. I am using this eraser that I have reviewed on my channel video will be linked below. It's really effective in removing light layers of dirt, smudges, and goo. And it's also dust-free. It's the Faber-Castell dust-free eraser and I really really like it. And now it is time to put a start date on the cover page of my new notebook. The pen that I am using is one of my favorites. It is the Pelican M400 White Tortoise and I've had this since about 2012 or 2013. And the ink that it's loaded with is the Waterman South Seas Blue. It is also one of my favorite ink colors of all time. I bought this ink bottle sometime in 2006 it's a long time ago and i've already used up most of it but when the bottle was almost finished i decanted the remaining ink into a sample vial and threw the bottle away and now i want to finish using this ink and say goodbye to it this specific color and name has already been phased out there is a similar color from the same brand under a different name but i haven't seen it in person as for the Sticky notes. Now that I have a spread that I call download instead of brewing dump, I just stuck the sticky notes on there. One last thing that I want to add to this new notebook is something that's a cross between a pencil board, a smudge guard, and an ink blotting sheet. In the old notebook, I made what I call a smudge guard and I placed it behind the page that I am writing on because I use soft pencil leads and those tend to smudge. That's why it's labeled smudge guard all over. But now I want it to serve a 
double purpose as both a smudge guard and a blotting sheet for pages where I use a fountain pen on. So I am just using or cutting off a piece of this old folder that I found lying around and I finally busted out my pack of blotting sheets that I purchased from Everything Calligraphy two years ago and never used. I decided to paste one entire side of the cut down folder with pieces of this blotting sheet. I pasted the first sheet down and then the second piece and then the third piece and then kept the remaining small piece in the original packaging and then I just placed this um, smudge guard and blotting sheet combination in between the pages of the notebook and it is ready for use anytime and that is it this notebook is completely ready for use starting tomorrow November 24 I am not going to take the previous notebook out of the cover yet but like I said it will stay home from now on I am so excited about the information that this new notebook will hold and I'm so excited about my future plans even though I'm on the anti-planner of course I do have plans I have goals and I have ambition and all of these notebooks hold the documentation for all of those thank you for watching bye